Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we will solve next 10 problems that is, problem number 71 to 80. And uh, before you look at the solution, you should first pause the video and try the problem yourself. Then you should look at the solution. So, problem number 71 says that after striking the floor, a certain ball rebound, rebounds to there is S missing, it's a grammatical error. Rebounds to four fifth of the height from which it has fallen. Find the total distance it travels before coming to rest if it is gently dropped from a height of 120 meters. So, in the first fall, the ball will cover 120 meters. After striking the ball, it will go up for 120 into 4 by 5 meters and then it will fall again 120 into 4 by 5 meters so the total distance covered would be 2 into 120 into 4 by 5 meters now for the next bounce it will get multiplied with by 4 by 5 so total distance covered would be 2 into 120 into 4 square by 5 square meters so now our sum would be 120 plus 240 into 4 by 5 plus 240 into 4 square by 5 square up to infinite because it will take infinite number of bounces to become the distance to become zero. So we apply the formula of uh, infinite number of sum for infinite number of terms after taking 240 into 4 by 5 common which makes first term as 1 and common ratio as 4 by 5. So, you will get the distance as 1018 meters. Problem number 72 says that if A be the first term and B be the nth term and P be the product of n terms of a GP, show that P square is equal to AB to the power n. So, B is nothing but AR to the power n where R is the common ratio and AB would be A square R to the power n minus 1. So we raise the power n to a b which gives us here a to the power 2 n r to the power n into n minus 1. Now p is nothing but a into a r plus into a r square up to a r to the power n. So the powers of a will get added which gives us a to the power n. The powers of r will also get added which is 1.123 1, up to n minus 1 which is an arithmetic progression. And the, by formula, we get it as n into n minus 1 by 2, which is p which implies that p square would be a to the power 2 n r to the power n into n minus 1. Because upon squaring, this a to the power n will become a to the power 2 n, and the 2 from the denominator of power of r will get cancelled when we square p. So now we can see that p square is nothing but a b to the power n. Problem number 73 says that show that the ratio of sum of n terms of two GPs having the same common ratio is equal to the ratio of their nth terms. So we let A and B to be the first terms and R to be the common ratio of the two GPs. So now what, what is the ratio of sums? A into R to the power n minus 1 divided by R minus 1 divided by B into r minus r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus r minus 1. So r minus 1 gets cancelled, r to the power n minus 1 gets cancelled. And the ratio would be a minus b. A ratio of n terms would be a r to the power n minus 1 divided by b to b into r to the power n minus 1, which is nothing but a b. So now we have proved the required result. Problem number 74 says that if S1, S2, S3 be the sum of M, sorry N, it should not be M, it should be N, N, 2N, 3N terms respectively of a GP show that S2 minus S1 whole square is equal to S1 into S3 minus S2. So the sum would be S1 is equal to A into R to the power N minus 1 by R minus 1, S2 would be A into R to the power 2N minus 1 by R minus 1, S3 would be A into R to the power 3N minus 1 divided by R minus 1. So when we subtract uh, S1 from S2, we take out AR to the power N common. 
when we subtract uh, s2 from s3 we take out ar to the power 2n common now s2 minus s1 whole square would be a square r to the power 2n rn minus 1 whole square divided by r minus 1 whole square and s1 into s3 minus s2 would be a into rn r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 and then inside it would be the difference of sums so if you evaluate this it, after taking r minus 1 out it what remains is a to the power 3n minus a to the power 2n so you can see that this is nothing but this because you can take a common here which will become a square and you can take out r to the power 2n common so here r to the power n will remain and here 1 will remain so which will make it rn minus 1 whole square so that's how we have proved the required result problem number 75 says that if sn denotes the sum of n terms of a gp whose first term is a and common ratio is r find s1 plus s2 plus up to s2 to the power 2n minus 1 so s1 would be a into r minus 1 by r minus 1 s2 would be a plus ar which we can rewrite as a multiplied with r square minus 1 by r minus 1 for s1 we have divided r minus 1 uh, to a and multiplied r minus 1 to a similarly s2 power 2n minus 1 would be a into r to the power 2n minus 1 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so this we can uh, rewrite as like this and we can take out r the terms of r and we find the sum and we take out once and we find the sum so that's how we have found the required result problem number 77 says that the sum of n terms of a series is a dot 2 to power n minus v b find its nth term are the terms of this series in gp that should be a question mark here so we are given sn as a dot 2 to the power n minus b so s to the power n minus 1 would be a dot to the power n minus 1 minus b so nth term would be sn minus sn minus 1 which is nothing but a dot 2 to the power n minus 1 now we see that uh, our tn is this so clearly the common ratio would be 2 because if you substitute n to 1 it becomes a if you substitute n to be 2 it becomes 2a then 4a then 8a squared so our uh, sorry 8a not 8a squared so our common ratio is 2 so therefore it is in gp find the nth term and the sum of n terms of the series 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 square so we can solve this in this way that we write the first term as 2 minus 1 the second term as 2 square minus 1 the third term is 2 cube minus 1 and the nth term is 2 power n minus 1. So now we collect the terms involving 2s as 1 and we collect all minus 1s as another. And that's how we have come at the required solution. You can apply the geometric progression sum formula for this. Problem number 78 says that find 1 by 1 plus x bar multiplied by 1 plus 2x by 1 plus x square plus 2x by 1 plus x square whole square and up to infinity where x is greater or equal to 0. Since x is greater or equal to 0, the common ratio 2x by 1 plus x square will be between 0 and 1. So now we solve this and we apply the formula for an infinite number of terms of a series and we get the desired result as 1 by 1 minus x whole square problem number 79 says that the sum of an infinite gp whose common ratio is numerically less than 1 is 32 and the sum of their first two terms is 24 find the terms of the gp so we let a to be the first term and r to be the common ratio so sum of infinite terms would be a by 1 minus r which is equal to 32 sum of first two terms is 24 so a plus ar is equal to 24 so now we substitute 
a is equal to 32 into 1 minus r we get the desired result as 24 and upon further solution solving the equation we get r as plus minus 1 by 2 since r is plus minus 1 by 2 we can substitute it here or we can substitute it here which will give us 8 to be 16 and 48 so once we have found the first term and r we can find the rest of the terms Problem number 80 says that the sum of infinite number of terms of a decreasing GP is 4 and the sum of squares of its terms to infinity is 16 by 3, find the GP. So again we have let A to be the first term and R to be the common ratio. We let P is equal to A plus A R plus A square up to infinity which is A by 1 minus R which is 4 and Q would be squares of the terms which is which will give us the sum as A square divided by 1 minus R square is equal to 16 by 3. Now we have two equations in two variables, we can solve it. If you ask me how would I solve it, what I will do is I will square this and then divide them. So a square will get cancelled, which will remain a quadratic equation in r and that's how we can find r. So r would be 2, r would be half, it is not 2 by 1 but 1 by 2. And uh, first term would be 2, so the gp would be 2 comma 1 comma half. 1 by 4. With this we come to the end of uh, problem number 80 up to problem number 80 of geometric progression. In my next video I will solve 10 more problems. If you have found this video informative and useful please subscribe to the channel and uh, you can like the video uh, because that will motivate me to make more videos and uh, I will see you in our next videos. Thanks a lot for watching.